Hello, I greet you. Welcome to another one. So there have been some recent attacks on the minister of Pastor John Anosike, uh, stemming from uh, media attacks by bloggers on YouTube and things like that, where they have set out a lot of things where they were saying that he said that Jesus is not coming back, where they said that he also said that Jesus is powerless. So this is his response to all those things where people have been saying that by their fruits we shall know them and things like that where they were labeling him as a fake prophet. So let's get into the video and also stay tuned to what Prophet Dove has to say to Christian commentary channels. I command you, if you're listening to me, I command you don't, don't listen to bloggers. Close them up. Shut those devils off. I'm, to, I'm talking about the wrong bloggers. There are good ones, okay? Yes. There are ones that have genuine approach to their content. I've come across some who spoke something they didn't like about me. The way they presented it was fair. And I loved it. As I told the team, I said, don't touch. There were some bloggers who didn't stand for what I believed, for what I said, but there was a way they presented it. It was fair enough. They balanced it. It was, it was, it was like, that's, that's fine. I, I'm, I do not want everybody to believe me. Uh -uh. It's not, I'm not, I am not an ice cream. I don't want you to like me and everybody shouldn't like me or believe in me or believe in it's it's rejection is is part of my life is part of what i experience is is part of 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 ministry so i'm i'm used to it so it's i'm not angry because you rejected my pattern of ministry that's okay that's fair enough it is your position to accept my ministry or not I'm not going to force you to believe in me. No ways. I'm not going to do that. But don't say I am false. Don't attack my reputation. Because you have no moral position to do so. You have no legal position to do so. If I'm false, it will catch up with me in the future. Didn't you hear? But when they began to object to Jesus, and they, you know, yeah, that was Christ or what? Yeah. The elders said, some, somebody said something. And those that said, leave him. If he's of God, he will stand the test of time. If he's not of God, he will face away. That's what he said. He's there. And this is a, the mistakes the, the bloggers make. You don't know what is of God. You have no idea. I know some of you will now quote and say, by their fruits we shall know them. What do you know of fruits? What is fruits? You are already judging them by their manifestations. The manifestation of their prophecies or power or miracles. That's where you're judging them. No, that's not fruits. According to the scriptures, fruits are the way of life of an individual. Patience, endurance, perseverance, love, faith, kindness, charity. By their fruits. Look at that man. Look at the, the temperance of that man. Sexual dignity. Self-control. By their fruits. The fruits of the Spirit. But you want to judge them according to power. Hey, power will mess you up. A man of power will mess you up. And I just heard one of them say, you see, but the Bible says, the, the Bible says uh, we shall judge all things. No, the Bible didn't say you shall judge all things. The Bible says a spiritual man 
judges all things. My question to you, are you spiritual? If you're spiritual, how long and when did you commit the, your last adultery and fornication? When did you lie? How many times have you been lying? How many times have you been lost in and, and watching pornographies? How many times are you full of anger and bitterness and manipulations? That means you are not spiritual. Show me your level of holiness. Because spirituality is a function of absolute holiness. How many beasts of realms have you conquered? How many dimensions of the spirit have you ascended to? How many times have you met Christ? When you speak of spiritual men, you're talking about men like John the Beloved. Men like Apostle Paul. Men like William Braham. Women like Catherine Cumin towards her latter days. It, do you know how long it took this man to achieve the level of their spirituality where they became authorities in dimensions men like Ben Sin Idahosa the bishop is there I've, I've read books in early 80s and 90s I was, read, I, was, I was reading of men of the spirit how they succeeded how they failed the mistakes they made I will be a fool to fail my generation. After all I've known. You, you think you're trying to defend Jesus because I said he's powerless and you took it out of context? You don't know how much I love that God. You don't know how much I love Yeshua. You, you have not even given one percent of my sacrifices. I gave up my sexuality as a young man for him. Wake up. I lived holy. I abstained from sin, from corruption of the human body because I loved him. I gave up everything that I am and all I could become. Let me ask you one question. Is anybody here that can tell me how many times did Apostle Paul use Jesus in his epistles? Okay, I send you home to go study. We, we continue tomorrow, okay? Go and do a, a, a research. Okay, let me ask you this question now. Can I ask you? Between Jesus and Christ, which one did Apostle Paul use 95% of the times in all of his letters? Why? Now, just keep it to, to, to yourself. You know why? Because just a glimpse into it, because I'm going to be a bit more deeper tomorrow and throughout this study oh interesting so i'm going to leave the link to the full message in the description so let's get to what prophet love has to say about this christian commentary channels so whenever a person this is why many times i i'm sorry i'm gonna say this and people are gonna some people are not gonna like this and i thank god they won't like it some people that are calling themselves men of god or women of god should not they should call themselves commentators all you do is commentary you don't preach anything you don't teach anything you do reaction video sit down somewhere you're you're not different than tmz yeah. and you say read the bible what are you teach us the bible says if no one preaches how will they believe so you're not teaching anything you're commentating on what people are doing wrong so what should people do all this is because of lack of prophetic direction the body of christ is suffering because of the lack of prophetic understanding and prophetic direction.